Hi and welcome to part 19 of ASP.NET MVC Core Tutorials. On this part, we are going to learn about database initialization and migrations. So let's go to Package Manager console. In case you do not see it here, go to Views, Other Windows, Package Manager console. And you write here Add Migration Initial. The initial is just a name, so you can write whatever you want and press enter. After the migration is finished, you will see that on your solution a new folder migrations has been created and inside this folder you will see a file ending in initial, which is the same name of migration we added. This created the database schema in code. So we have here the table names, the columns for this table, we have the constraints for this table like the primary key and then we have the table drinks for this we have the drink id which serves as identity column and then here we have the declaration of a foreign key to the table categories on the category id column so at this point it has only created the migration file and no changes have been done in database we go to package manager console again and here we write update database when you see the done here means that the database has been created so let us run the application and navigate to drink list we see that the application has run successfully but we have no data in there next we go to the models folder and inside this folder we add a new class named db initializer i will copy paste the code from my github repository and provide the link down below in the description section for you as well so as we seen here it has only one static method which is the seed method with i application builder interface as a parameter we are going to use application builder to get through the application services get required service access to our application db context instance then we check if there are any categories in our context and if not we add them and we get the categories from this method down below in here we do the same for the drinks and finally it is very important that after you have added your data to the context we invoke the save changes method this will commit the data to the context but this code will not be called by default so we need to invoke it in our startup.cs class in the configure method at the end of this method we add db initializer seed app so every time you run the application this will check if the initial data is there or not let us run the application one more time and check the result and here we have the view that we were expecting to get but in this case the data is not coming from our mocks it's coming from the database let's go to the database and check the data over there so here we see that we have 19 drinks and if we check the categories we have two categories as well this is all for this part thank you for watching and see you on the next part